Uh, long story short, though. Hmm? Oh. Uh, I killed another government employee. Like, for real. Deputy mayor guy? Yep. You already yep. know. Lawyer told me about it, and then, uh, Jaeger did, he? But I don't think he told me it was you. Maybe he did. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I killed him. What'd you kill him for, Denzel? Yeah. Uh, pretty short story. You know what? Give me the whole thing. Give me the whole spiel, eh? Wait, first of all, before you start, did he deserve it? Oh, yeah. All right, and let's hear the story. Ah, uh, well, I woke up, he gave me a call, uh, asked me to meet him at uh, the pier, that he's come to peace with his demons. Naturally, I was sketched the fuck out, was confused. Called right. Andy, asked for my AK, which is a wedding gift that she got me. Okay. And, uh... Then, uh... She basically told me that, uh, she told me a few things that he was doing and saying, and one of which, when she was going to give me the quick rundown, was, uh, he put a gun to her head. Uh-oh. So I went to the end of the pier, I confronted him about everything, asked him if he did everything, he admitted to it all, he begged me, and I shot him in the head with an AK. Multiple times. And now he's dead, eh? Yep, I'm still the mayor. Cops are looking into it. People know. Issue is, he was, uh... Well, he was gang-affiliated as well. Gang-affiliated? Which gang? Well, you know how I was talking to Salim in there like that? It's because Salim knows I did it. He's a right. part of their crew. The NBC, right? Yeah. Okay, that's not good. And Jaeger said yeah. that uh, police have really been on it. Yep, that too. And uh, Mando gave us like a uh, a kind of warning yesterday, and it was like uh, the coyote fish has been breathing down his neck. And then Mandel threatened to shoot up our arm. Wait, when was this? Uh, if I don't approve a business or something, he's gonna shoot up our arm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Yeah, um, I'm getting real sick of motherfuckers. You know I miss say? just shooting motherfuckers <laughs> in the head. You can leave the cul-de-sac, Denzel, but the cul-de-sac never leaves you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I say lean street, but the cul de sac works. <laughs> uh, so you killed a guy? Yeah. Uh, other issue was people lined those business with, aka uh, Leslie, Dean. He was involved in their circle. So I, uh, I'm gonna have to cut off my ring finger. Well, Andy's gonna have to cut off my ring finger. Wait, I'm sorry. Who is? My wife. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who's cutting off what? Uh, as payback, I, uh, I had to, me and Andy's firstborn child, uh, is gonna be going to, uh, they're gonna call him the Corpo Kid, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be raised by Leslie when he turns 18 and made into an accountant. Sorry? I had to cut off my ring finger, well, Andy has to cut off my ring finger, I have to cut off Andy's ring finger, give them both to Leslie, and, uh, me and, a me and Andy are, uh, be pretty much exiled from Cerebus business, which is, you know, really? Lang, Dean, and Leslie's company. Yeah. Nah. I mean, what's the big deal? It's just a little murder. Yeah, <laughs> Why is everybody yeah. freaking out? He... <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> kind of a fuck up, but at the same time, you know, is what it is. What do you mean? We've murdered tons of people before. I agree. Listen, I agree. He's, uh... Yeah. I don't know. He's, uh, well, like I said, he's one of Lang's, uh, partners, friends, so... But I gotta cut off my ring finger, get Andy to cut off my ring finger, then so be it. Hmm? I don't think you should have to cut off your finger, 
Yeah, Nino thought the same, but I just, uh, I just want to make everything right for Lang, you know. Then why don't you cut off someone else's finger and say it's yours? I hate because he doesn't want me to ever get a prosthetic again. I'm sure he's going to see that I have all my fingers intact. You could be like, oh, this one's fake. <laughs> he doesn't want me to get a fake one either. Ugh. Man, what a jerk. So, yeah, I don't know. Everybody's fucking pissed. Really pissed off at me and Andy. Really? Why? Yeah. Andy uh, tortured him before he died. Before I called, before I got the call from him. Uh huh. And she was seen with him, and Bjorn was involved, and it's a whole fucking thing. Yeah, Bjorn was kind of like uh, hiding from them, I think, yesterday. He was dressed up as this grinder and calling himself Billy. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Fuck, Miles is calling me. Calling All back. right. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Does, um... This guy who died, does he have any family? Well, the natural-born crackheads. Maybe you should murder one of them, too, to prove a point. <laughs> well, they Always shot Andy down, and put her in the hospital, and I was tempted oh, to bring him to the pier and uh, tell him exactly how I killed Bassam and then put a bullet in their fucking head with an AK. Yeah, they didn't seem all that intimidating to me. I mean, Bjorn kept calling them shooters, but I mean... One was an old guy. The other had pink hair. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I've never been shot at with a guy uh, with pink hair. Really? I don't think so, have I? Have you? We've been shot at by so many people, Hell, are you sure? I don't think- I don't remember anyone with pink hair. Do you? <laughs> I don't. I don't need it, to be See, honest. exactly! Yeah, I don't know, Will. Hmm. Just, uh, I'm in a... I'm in a difficult place. Uh, I think you should do whatever you feel like, Denzel. Life yeah. is short. Oh. 47, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, 47, that's young. I mean, just look at the queen. She's almost double your age. Actually, no, triple. Quadruple? I, I don't think that's true, Al. Maybe she's 200. <laughs> so technically, you could be like, uh... To her? You're like in your early 20s. I am 47. How old is she? The queen? I think she's like 80. Elf. No way, no way. Yeah, yeah, I think she's, I think she's 80. <laughs> she's at least 200. Something. I don't think she's 200. 200. I don't think she's 200. 200, wait, do you think the queen's listening? <laughs> I don't think so, Elle. You think I can get... You think... Hmm. <laughs> anyway. That sounds pretty tough, Denzel. Everyone sounds pretty stressed, honestly. Even Bjorn yesterday. Yeah, uh, because they know, uh, basically everybody's stressed because they know if they, they shoot Andy again, I'm going to go off the deep end and kill every last one of them, and then if I do that, I get shot. The minute I get shot, then the nerds and the boys will, will want to go, we're going to go after crackheads. So we're pretty much inevitably waiting, we're just waiting to see what happens, what gives, you know? Right. Where we're having this conversation. You don't know how hard it was for me to hold back when I found out that Andy got shot. The only reason I did was lame. <sighs> so, uh, the police are on everyone's tail. So, wait, what are the repercussions here? What is the worst case scenario that everyone's afraid of? Uh, they, they convict me of murder of a government employee and give me the death penalty, but I think that's very far-fetched. You think that's far-fetched? Yeah, I think, uh, I think they would have arrested me already. Oh, really? I'm also still the mayor. 
You get rated based on one person's word for being married. Oh, that makes sense. No, it, it doesn't, L. It doesn't? But no, 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 no. It does not. Why not? Because the judge signed a raid warrant based on one person's uh, word. What? And it, what? <laughs> and that was the raid was like, for my wife. And the only reason what? I got raided was you because raided? I was married. What? Yep. Man, Denzel, I told you marriage was a bad idea, didn't I? So you get married and all of a sudden you're getting raided. Eh? Well, I don't keep anything in my properties. Yeah, yeah. So everyone got raided, huh? Yeah. Everyone? Uh, well, I mean, I got raided, Andy got raided. Uh, I don't know if Bjorn did. And I don't know outside of that. I brought five lawyers together and then uh, just a big dick to the police. Pled the fifth, etc. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, you guys have been going through a lot. Yeah. What you been up to? What have I been up to? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Not much. <laughs> not, not much compared to all this. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I've been up to stuff like... Punching impossible reptilians. Fighting with 4T. But nothing major. There you go. Fighting reptiles. Yeah, some guy named Vsauce kept telling me that uh, reptilians lay eggs in people's ears. And you never know who's a reptilian. I, I don't think that's true, Will. And that's what he said. He was Vsauce. He sounded believable. He had a theme song and everything. So, uh, it was actually that guy you were talking to in the casino who I punched in the face. <laughs> Which one? That old guy? My Salim. Yeah. Had to make sure he wasn't reptilian. That's the guy who... That's the... That's the <laughs> NBC. You punched yep. an NBC member in the face. Two of them. <laughs> Good shit, Ellie. <laughs> but I didn't know they were NBC. Just right, right place, right time, I guess. Uh, I made 30 grand. What? I can't believe I, I, so I pulled out two grand at the 2K table. And, you know, I said, fuck it, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, I made it up to 10 grand. I said, fuck it. All right. And then I went to the 10K table. One made 20 grand. I'm like, well, I'll play one more. Fuck it. Why not? I played one more and I got an 11 into like a six. I doubled. Got a 20. Ended up winning. Okay. Was up to 40 grand, and I played one more and lost. And I was like, alright, time to tamp out. 30 grand. Made $28,000. That's amazing. Also, I did not win a single game of slots, so I would not recommend. Wait, I want to go play slots. I would not recommend. Oh. I want to play slots, Denzel. The, be the, best, <laughs> the best chances I had was at the $100 slots, and even then I kept, uh, even then I, I, I ended up losing more than I won. Come on, Denzel. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit of money in slots. <sighs> Alright, I'm a little... Well, you know, I'm probably going to bed. To be what? Honest. I'm fucking tired. What? Yeah, I'm tired. One slot. I'm chilling. I'm one chill slot. Give me one slot. One, one slot. Is that a spin? You mean like one... One crank or whatever? <laughs> Yes, exactly. Come on. Right, Just one. Right. But hey, it's good to see you. Eh? Sorry you've good been under a lot of stress. You know, we, with the murder and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might write a book if I did it. Hey, that's smart. <laughs> But Good then they might link me the back to a lot more kills at 8K, with, at that pier with an 8K. Well, I mean, as long as you put if at the beginning of every sentence, I think you should be fine. Yeah, like, yeah. 
Like you said, like, if I did it, I would have used this weapon. If I did it, I would have done it in this way. Whoa, a crime scene! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did. No way! Isn't it kind of crazy how different shit is nowadays? Man, Denzel. You still have shitty cars. Huh? What? Sorry, sorry? I said you still have shitty cars. Yeah, you know, I'm still getting used to just how much stuff there is. There's so much I stuff know. to do. The city's I like... know, it's crazy. <sighs> I'm married now, too? You're married. You're married. <laughs> you know that. I've told you that. No, I know then. I was just saying it with disgust. Everybody else in my, wife, in my life hates my wife. Can you please not be another one? All right, sure. Can I make one more snide comment? Sure. <laughs> Man, well, look at me. At least I haven't been raided. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> 